Do you want to learn how to, how to feel better about yourself? Want to hear both point of views about different outfits? Today I'm going to tell you how to get the good guy instead of the hound dog. This is Girl Chain and I'm your host, Allison Close. Alongside me are our guest speakers, David Gold, uh, Elliot Ambrose, and Paige Sterling. Today's first segment is a Q&A where us girls can hear honest answers from two guys. The first question we have is about a hairstyles. Which do you like? Blonde, brunette, up, down? Um, I don't, I don't think that there's too much of a difference, but blonde definitely pops. I think mm -hmm. that is, that stands out when a girl has blonde hair done right. Mm -hmm. uh, and as much as you don't think we do, we can tell when it's, when it's natural blonde or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know, um. David. <laughs> Uh, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I think it's all a matter of preference in the end of the day, a matter of what the specific guy likes. I mean, me in particular, uh, I like redheads. I like really long hair, actually. Um, just, yeah. Is it like a natural redhead or like, you know, the fake out of the bottle type? Um, unlike what Elliot just said about blondes, I can honestly not tell the difference between the two when it comes to redheads. Mm -hmm. uh, I, mean, I mean, obviously there are colors that are like specifically like very red red and not like an orange natural red and that's clear but like if it looks not like a natural red hair it, mm. it's for me <laughs> Paige I believe you had a question for the boys um for makeup do you guys prefer girls with lots of makeup or girls with a little bit of makeup um I think that's kind of on a spectrum there's a there's the right amount of makeup uh too little and it seems like they're not making any effort too much and you can tell and it just looks weird. Makeup I feel like also is another thing that's also very relative. I feel like certain guys do like certain, like having a lot of makeup. I feel like other guys don't. I mean, for me, uh, there's no substitute for natural beauty. I think if you have a beautiful face, why, why cover it up? Hmm. That's a very good question. Uh, one of the other questions we ha had a lot was, what type of outfits do you like? Do you like the girls that look like they've been on a runway or the casual jeans and top? Uh, I think jeans and top and even more casual. Um, it's so much less intimidating when a girl looks comfortable. She could be really frumpy wearing, you know, sweatshirt and sweatpants, and I think that would be the most comfortable for me. I mean, for me, it's very just other end of the spectrum. Uh, Flashy, bright, vibrant. Uh, looks like you just came out of a out of a nightclub sort of thing. I mean, I've just always been into funky clothing and funky funky ways of expressing it, and I just think the right in my face sort of vibrant, striking is definitely more for me. Hmm. Um, <laughs> for our last question, um, what type of like body type do you think? guys these days like or that you guys like in specific um i'll take this one first uh i definitely think that i mean the norm or like the standard in today's world is definitely more along like the lines of runway model stick thin um i feel like that's general generally what the uh culturally conceived conception of beauty is uh personally uh I, I like one woman with more of an hourglass figure. I feel I feel like being full bodied and being skinny aren't that far off mm. from each other. Um, and I'd rather someone be like ha be intimate or in a relationship with someone that is definitely healthy and comfortable with their own body as opposed to like a stick. There really isn't a body type that trumps any other in any way. I think it really depends on. Uh, the girl's personality, how she dresses, and how she really fits into her body. Pay attention to this, girls. This is important. <laughs> now let's look at some outfits and give honest opinions about each. First up, let's look at Bambio bikini tops. Oh, man, this top really just gets under my skin. <laughs> um, I don't like them. I don't like the name. I don't like the way they look. <laughs> I don't think that they have a purpose. Yeah. Um, they look like they're, they're only for concerts and anywhere else where you really are just trying to show off. 
or you know that uh, you know that everyone else is going to be dressing like this, otherwise I can't see someone wearing this. Well, isn't that a purpose? I mean, being, I mean, I don't think it's purposeless. I feel like if its purpose is to wear it to a show or whatever any of those other examples um, were, uh, I feel like those, I, although personally, I think they're gross and tacky. Um, Thank you. That being said, <laughs> I feel like if a woman either just merely wants to wear it or feel com feels comfortable wearing it or um, any of the any reason that a woman might wear a shirt a bandeau bikini top like that I feel like it's all right if she wants to I feel like a woman has every right to express how she wants to dress and show her body the way she wants to show her body and personally. like with what I said with wearing a sweatshirt that is that couldn't be further off from a sweatshirt that is too little for me and it's too much at the same time I can't deal with that. yeah it, it, to me it kind of looks like a bra that you wear on the outside yeah. what do you think Paige I mean bikinis are basically bras that you wear on the outside but for bandeaus I'm the total opposite from you guys I think that bandeaus are serving their purpose they're strapless bikini tops and the reason for that is a lot of girls don't want to have tan lines at the beach. And a lot of girls don't have the shoulders to wear a normal bikini top or like a halter. So here's another option for everybody. Hmm. I don't know. It just kind of feels a little too... Um, Skimpy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it, missing a lot of material. Yeah. It does depend on like how you wear it. If you're wearing it to the mall or as just like a normal shirt then yeah, it's a little bit too revealing, but if you wear it on the beach or someplace where everyone else is wearing like bikinis and things just as revealing, it serves its purpose. What is a little too revealing though? Can you like give me a, like, a legitimate like, sort of definition? What is too revealing? What is too much? What is too little? Um, Walking around in your underwear outside? <laughs> that's basically a bikini though. I think that if maybe like if it's not like bigger than your hand, then it's too revealing. Like the piece of material that you're using to cover yourself. Cause like there are some bikinis that are maybe like three fingers like wide, like that's nothing. Hmm. Well, I think we should drop this subject <laughs> before we get too much into it. Next up is open side shirts. Uh, this is another one that just really kind of, it gets, it, I don't like the fact that it shows your bra. But that's the big thing with me. I don't like the, you can see the pattern design and color. It, it just kind of feels like you're not leaving any mystery for the boys. Um, okay, I guess me again. Um, <laughs> I, uh, whoever said I wanted mystery, I want, I want, I want spoilers up the hoo-ha. I want to know how the story ends. Like, I, I pray, I mean, Per and also, personally, I, I also don't think, I mean, literally, if the bra is literally covering up the area of the woman's body that would be exposed by just merely wearing a shirt like that, I mean, it really does complete the section of the shirt right there. It really, like, it literally just little holes of skin here and here, like, above mm. and below. I don't, I don't see it as being too revealing in the sense that, like, I mean, a girl wearing a normal tank top shows more skin than a girl wearing, like, a cut-off t-shirt, I feel like. I don't like mm -hmm. them, and not because they're too revealing. I just, again, with purpose, I don't think it has one. It's and hot out. I think that the angle, the angle that it does show is just, like, it's an awkward angle to see. Yeah. Um, just, it's a profile that's, you know, it's a strange cut on the shirt. Um, I don't like them. Hmm. Well... Well, here's the thing. They're not, I mean, you're, you're not going to find, like, you're not going to go into a store and find, like, a cutoff like that. If someone has literally taken a pair of scissors and cut their shirt open on the sides. Uh, um, I've got to correct you on that. You, they are sold at, like, Forever 21 and a bunch of other stores. I personally like them. I mean, I can't wear one at this time because I wouldn't be comfortable in them. But if you're hot... And you want to, or if you want to show off your bra, because nowadays, like, girls out there know bras are really expensive, and you might as well pick one that you like, and why not show it off in a way that's not considered scandalous? I don't think, I don't even <laughs> think scandalous. I just think it, it's like, I don't know. It looks like the, the sleeve monster struck twice. Like, the, <laughs> well, like, it just is too much material gone. It's also just another way to repurpose your shirt. Like, 
you've probably never, I don't know, I mean, you probably have spilt something in your shirt before and you're like, oh, now it's ruined. Like, let me toss it out. These girls are like, yeah, well, oh, let me just cut, cut the sleeve. The that's stained and put it right back on. <laughs> Some people do. I mean, I, uh... Actually, that's a good idea for my pit, my like pit stain shirts. I can just <laughs> cut them off and just you can have, just like, re-dye it sign. and make patches. But here's the thing: if you cut them off in the first place, you would have never gotten the pit stains because you would have been cooled and refreshed. Yeah, the guys whole wear those time. all the time they in the gym. Somewhere. How come girls they can't? Ended up. Well, here's I mean, here's the thing: I mean, if a guy can wear a tank top, why can't a girl wear a cutoff? Like, mm. that's my opinion. Mm. Maybe it's like really sweaty girls want to wear those. <laughs> I mean, personally, <laughs> if you can't, like, if you've never tried it, I don't think you can say anything about it. All right. All right. I can agree with that. Mm. The next one we have is those 80s Cosby style sweaters. To me, they kind of, they look like something you see on the movies and you kind of go, why are you wearing that? <laughs> I love those. I, I those are seriously, so great. Um, they're quirky. They're fun. comfortable. And they're like, it's like having fun at an ugly sweater party, but you can wear it any any time. Yeah. Um, the uglier, the better, too. As <laughs> the more Cosby, the more entertaining it is. You can find them almost anywhere for, like, really cheap. Go to your local thrift shop. Like, they'll probably have 20, and you can get them really... Wait, am I the only one who doesn't like them? Yeah. I think the bigger the sweater Literally half of my so wardrobe is Cosby sweaters. Like, my, my clothing goes, like... Cosby sweaters, flannels, band t-shirts, and then, will like, later. a few normal things. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they, that is mo the majority of what I wear. And actually something like, as far as something that I actually find genuinely attractive on women, I, I, love, I love it when a girl looks like a rag doll in a Cosby sweater. It's like my favorite, <laughs> it's like literally the most visually stimulating thing to me in the world. Oh my God. Eventually, this is going to just be sectioned off and become part of a, like a bigger Cosby sweater. <laughs> yeah. And then you can have one of those yeah. open side shirts, too. Exactly. Well, oh, only wow. if you send us home with one. <laughs> Otherwise, no, I'm never going to wear that. We don't have another <laughs> The bra has that. to be the same color, so he's not a, like a different pattern. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I love those oversized sweaters. Mm -hmm. I think the bigger the better. Um, one, you can, if you get one big enough, you can fit your entire body into it when you're cold. Uh, you can fit your friends into them if you're cold. <laughs> like, the more the merrier. That's why we like them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I get it. Big and comfy. Drag the girl in, too. Yeah. <laughs> or give it to the girl. Like, that. most of the sweaters girls probably got from their fathers. Mm. Like, I know I did. Yeah. It's like going outside with a Snuggie on. Yeah. Actually, that kind of does sound comfy. I have to get one of these now. <laughs> oh, the final one we have is... Uh, what are your thoughts on <laughs> bright lipstick? Well, we all know I love bright lipstick. Yes, we can see very plainly <laughs> that you love bright lipstick. Yeah, I think it works. Uh, I don't have anything against it. I don't, I don't have an opinion for not wearing lipstick either, but I think that bright lipstick is, it, it highlights. It's fine. Um, I mean, I, I think a bright lipstick is something that every girl should have in her accessory, uh, a little accessory pouch if she has one. Um, there are a few, no, uh, seriously, I think there are a few things that every girl should have. I feel like a pair, I feel like they should have a pair of bright, uh, a tube of bright lipstick. I feel they absolutely should be eyeliner mm -hmm. um, in that as well. I feel like there are several things that every girl should have at least something. Uh, and I feel like a bright lipstick is one of those things, absolutely. No, I know one of the biggest complaints that I've heard about girls that wear bright lipstick is if they kiss you or in some way like show affection, it will get everywhere. But those girls need to learn that there are lipsticks out there that do not come off. They're called like 24 hour wear and those will be your best friend. Yeah, they're really great, especially when you're on a date. It's like you don't want your lipstick coming off when like you're having a sip of your soda or something. Everyone hates the Starbucks cups or the wine glasses with the s lipstick print on it. Oh, we don't. I don't, I don't <laughs> think you'd agree with me. It's like a signature. Uh, Have you it's ever fine. Drank it's fine if it, no. Oh, like, honestly, wait, wait, wait. Like Are you guys saying you actually find it hot when a girl leaves like a kiss mark? Yeah, on yeah, exactly. yeah. I like to go around it. Oh, dude, look at this battle wound right here. Yeah, I yeah. Honestly, it's different dude. if it's like a hot it's better girl if or you have like a, hickey, a grandma kiss. Well, that you're just getting in a whole <laughs> that's other level. Different of conversation, oh. different day, different show. That's that's girl chain mm -hmm. too. Um, I think when you have the lipstick on you, not on. Ooh. 
When you have the lipstick on, it's like temporary. It's better if you have a hickey. That's awful. I hate those. But lipstick, you can get, you can show off to your friends and get rid of it five minutes later. Mm. Unless it's that 24-hour wear lipstick. Then well, then it won't you. wash off, and then it won't be on there in the first place, and we wouldn't be yeah. having this conversation. Exactly. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> What's your opinion on it? Um, to be honest, I think my opinion's changed. I used to think that bright lipstick, like, like you said, I don't really like it when it wears off, and I kind of like the natural look. Like, I like the lipsticks that kind of bring out your... you. I don't like it when it kind of highlights your lips. I kind of... But if... <laughs> I might have to ask my boyfriend if he likes that better too now. I mean, oh, I know what I don't like: black lipstick. To, that's a god. Or crazy colored bright yeah. lipstick. Oh like, yeah. The other day I went to the store and there was neon purple lipstick. I mean, I oh. personally well, bought it too. I'm not gonna judge But other that. people, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It, you have to find the color that works for you. Yeah. Yeah, like you say, it has to go with the girl. You can't just buy a lipstick. You have to match it to you. It can't just. You can't just randomly put it on. Um, well, thank you for being on the show. On behalf of David, Elliot, and Paige, I'm Allison. Thank you for watching Girl Train, presented by the Broadcast Journalism Class at Landmark College. Have a good day.